Well, hey, McFly subscribers. I am finally fishing again. It has been like three months. I, I can't tell you how excited I am to get out here and uh, how busy I've been and why I haven't fished. Uh, but I'm in Corpus, if you can't tell uh, by the background here, but we're uh, gonna be trying to catch some redfish. I'm here with Johnny and we actually entered a tournament. There's a tournament that uh, basically it's tagged redfish. If you catch one, cut the tag, release the fish, bring it back in and hopefully you win. But some pretty good prizes. So um, you win like a, a truck and a boat and stuff like that, it's a possibility. And there's some other prizes as well. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we, uh, we win, that would be amazing. Um, but if we don't, um, at least we're out here fishing and having a good time. So um, hopefully it's gonna be good. We're not seeing a whole lot of movement out there in the water right now. There's not a whole lot jumping, no, no bait hitting, but uh, that doesn't mean that the fish aren't out there. So we're going back to our spot that we go to a lot. We love this spot, uh, it's really good, but let's see if we can catch. So I'm excited to get out there. I gotta get out, so I don't wanna talk much more. I wanna get out there and fish, so I will see you guys out there. Oh, shoot. You know what I just realized? What? Got your batteries? Yeah, all the rest of them back there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you get fairly. All right, guys, so look at all these birds. We've got some mangoes over here. We've got such an array of different birds. Beautiful. Now, that probably means there's lots of bait, so we're hoping it's a good day. Now, I forgot my battery. Well, I've got this one, but got to bring extras so I got to keep a, a time limit on this sorry guys won't be able to film a lot of stuff but I'll definitely be filming the fish when I get them all right guys so we're seeing a bunch of bait in the water and something's chasing it for sure I'm kind of seeing some of the sides of the fish and it looks like maybe trout so maybe it's not reds but it's hard to really tell 100% but it's just not clear enough yet the sun still it's not overhead so it's hard to see all right guys I got something let's see what it is this is what the bait was that we've been seeing or at least in with the bait it's a mullet bit it yeah Huh. I don't think I've ever caught a mullet in the mouth. I mean, I know you can. Just saying. I don't remember ever doing this. Little tiny mullet. Be good bait. Yeah. All right, now I'm all tangled though. Stupid mullet. All right, let's walk and find tails. What do you think? What? Yeah. Well, guys, I haven't really checked in with you here. We've been fishing most of the day. We got to head back. Johnny's got to go watch his kid. His wife's got to go to work, but We didn't get anything. We didn't see a single red, I don't think. We might have won. Like, we weren't sure if it was just a really big mullet. Yeah, All right, man. But it's, um, it's been a tough day. We haven't seen much, so. But. We're just leaving. I know I'm not gonna cast, man. But we figured we'd just uh, enter in at the back of this uh, cut and try to see if we can't nab a, a fish or two. I think most of this is gonna be mullet, honestly, through here, but.
tired. Although, it's not that late, but it is hot. Kind of wears you out. You know, and if you're not catching, kind of, I wouldn't say get discouraged, but you just don't feel as excited, you know? So you get tired a little quicker. If you're catching, you can kind of push it. But we're, we're pretty tired. Probably fish here a little while longer and then get up to the mouth here, fish it, and then head out. Slow day though. It's weird, you know? Really thought fish would be back there. We've never hit that spot in the summer. It might not be, might be too, uh, too shallow for them in the summer. Like the water warms up too much for them. It's possible. I don't know what the reasoning is, but they weren't really back there. A lot of mullet, a lot of bait. It did seem like we saw some stuff chasing bait a little bit here and there, but I wouldn't say we knew it was a red or anything at all. Sometimes those mullet just kind of are spazzy. All right. And then tonight we just kind of plan to get ready to rest. Clean out your truck. Maybe try to take your truck a little deeper spots. Oh no, it rained, man, bad. When? Uh, Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday, Tuesday. You don't think it's dried up by now with the heat? Like, uh, JC was telling me an area in Corsic around here on Bluff. Yeah. Got like six inches. And then on Wednesday, my area got like two and a half inches. Did it? Yeah. Well, hey, McFly subscribers. We're back out. It's the next morning. Boy, it's really windy. I'm not sure you're going to hear me. Hold on. Let me see if I can get. Uh might be a little better with the wind so oh. <laughs> I uh, it, it, me and Johnny are out um, we're gonna try a different spot a little deeper this time I think yesterday we had some trouble because we were in the flats area which has always caught us uh, a lot of fish but usually it's a little um, less hot I mean today uh, yesterday was insanely hot and it wasn't really deep, it was super shallow there. So I think the water warmed up too much and what can happen is the uh, uh, oxygen and water can be depleted from that, which then it keeps the red from coming in. We saw a lot of mullet, we saw a lot of bait, but we didn't see any reds. And it was shallow enough, we would have seen them. We might've seen one or two come through, but it wasn't like it usually is. So our thought is if we go something a little deeper. Now today, as you heard, the wind is insanely fast. Um, they're saying, um, a steady of 25, maybe 30 miles per hour with gusts of well over 45 miles per hour. That makes it impossible to fly fish. Um, not impossible, it's possible. I've done it before and we've caught before, but uh, we just can't. I, I, it's a tournament, I, I, you know, we wanna make sure we catch a fish. And you know, I probably will with the fly rod but I don't want to take that chance of being out there and not being able to catch fish. So I know a lot of you are probably going to say something about it, but um, I'm using conventional today. I'm going to use a bait caster. Um, we also brought some spinning rods um, and that's what we're going to use. We're going to try to hit the mangrove uh, line here. Um, it's a little deeper and um, if we can just kind of bounce baits right against the mangroves, you know, cast as we walk up. Hopefully we find one. Um, I think that's going to be the plan today. And we can do it with the fly rod, but with these gusts of wind, there is no way I'm going to be super accurate with the fly rod. I, I'm just going to be tough with the conventional as well, but I think I'll have a little better luck being a little more accurate. Although I am super rusty with conventional. It's been so long since I've fished with conventional uh, gear, so we'll see. Um, but I think that's going to be our best bet. Uh, I really wanted to use fly rod. <laughs> Boy, I enjoy catching fish with the fly rod a lot better, but you know, um, sometimes the conditions don't allow you anything. So since it's 
I'm down here. The, today is the last day I can fish. I can't really even, I mean, I can fish pretty long today, but um, not like, you know, all day. Um, you know, and the fact that we got skunked yesterday, I just got to catch fish. So that's what we're doing. Um, I will see you guys out there. Hopefully we catch. Keep your fingers crossed, everyone. No, I got it. It's, I figured it out. So, took me a second here to remember how to use a bait caster. <laughs> I think I got it now. All right, guys, well, there's some action here. We moved a little bit up, but there's definitely some action. We saw a redfish out uh, back there. I spooked it, unfortunately, saw it move, but. I think I'm gonna change this out for a paddle tail. DOA. Not yet. Not yet. I haven't got any hits at all on anything. All right, guys. Well, I didn't really get to do kind of the outro. I don't know if that's what that's called, but I didn't really get to kind of finalize the video, um, talk about anything. So um, we kind of had a weird situation. It's kind of a crazy day that day that we uh, fished. <laughs> so while we were fishing, there was a vehicle sitting there parked. Um, someone else came up and then we heard someone crying and screaming, you know, God, no God, that kind of thing. It was kind of a, uh, you know, we, we didn't know what was going on. 
Um, turned out that this gentleman, I don't know if it was a husband or what, but found a lady dead in the car. Um, <clears throat> it was pretty rough watching it. Um, and I feel really bad for the family, so whoever they are, if you guys could put a prayer out to them, whoever they are, I don't know uh, their names. I don't really know much about even what happened. Um, I don't know if it was, you know, natural causes or something. I have no clue. Um, bunch of police came, showed up, uh, and we thought for sure we would be questioned. So we kind of just stood there for like an hour because um, we were there before anyone else um, and we were kind of the only ones. It was just like that car <laughs> and us. Um, so we weren't sure if we were going to be questioned about what we saw, what we, you know, whatnot. Um, I went back and looked at the video and it turned out that was the only car. We weren't sure if this guy came up. We weren't paying attention really, but we weren't sure if this guy drove up while we were there or he was always there. We don't know, um, but now that I look back at the footage, it turns out that that vehicle was the only vehicle here, so he must have drove up while we were fishing. I don't have video of him um, you know, driving up because um, I wasn't filming the entire time of fishing. But yeah, we just kind of stood there. We didn't really, I mean, maybe a few casts here and there, but we felt really bad. In fact, I was a little sick to my stomach. Once I realized what was going on, I had no clue. I thought maybe this gentleman got bad news. In fact, I didn't even know this lady was, um, you know, passed on, um, <laughs> that was sitting in the vehicle until probably about 10 minutes in. I was just kind of like, what's going on? Yeah, we were far enough away that it was hard to really see. Um, so it, w it, was, it was a weird situation. So we kind of just stood there and didn't really fish um, until uh, um, till we kind of realized that the police weren't going to be talking to us. Um, they kind of did like a, you know, forensics looking thing um so i we weren't sure if it was like i said if it was going to be a uh um you know if they thought maybe there was ill intent there or something um so anyway i digress uh <laughs> weird weird situation um and then finally once that was up um it was it was kind of noon um, we decided to move on um, and start fishing another spot we fished for an hour or two and then we got a call from Johnny's wife that his uh, son so she had to work that day but his mom was gonna watch the kid um, and his uh, boy I guess was feeling sick so that wasn't gonna happen she had to work at 3 we left around 2 o'clock um, we decided okay we better go so that was kind of a rush um, I didn't, um, cause once she called and I, Hey, I can't drop him off. I got to get to work kind of thing. And so we're like, Oh shoot. So we kind of jumped back in the car as quick as we could. I couldn't really do a video explaining the rest of the day and that we kept uh, if we caught or didn't caught kind of thing, which we didn't. Um, so it was a tough, tough, uh, weekend. Uh, we didn't catch this is the first time in a while that I hadn't caught, but again, this heat. So my, that's my thought is the heat. Where we were fishing, I think we needed to be much deeper. I think we would have had better luck if we had a boat. We could get out to some um, drop-offs and some, you know, deep holes and whatnot. I think that's where the fish would have been. It was just tough while waiting, especially fly fishing, not being able to get super deep in that first day being in the flats. I mean, we're talking ankle deep water most of it. There's a few spots that might be knee deep, but that's just, it warms up. It gets too hot. Um, we were, we were pushing hundred degrees that day. It was over 95 for sure. And, um, and the next day the same. And then with all the wind, I mean, the wind was really bad. Like I said, uh, it was pushing 45 and some gusts and definitely it was, um, we had trouble, uh, even with the bait casters and the spinning rods and bait was like flying back at us unless we were really giving it a, you know, hard, hard cast. And even the first day there was some wind, um, just not as bad as that next day. So. Anyway, hopefully next week, this, uh, this tournament, though, that I'm in is called the Star Tournament. Um, so basically, they release a certain amount of tagged redfish. You find a tagged redfish, and now you have to release it, but you cut the tag off. You get to turn it back in. It's a great thing. You get to win a boat and a, and, uh, a truck for the first three prizes. And then after that, it's a couple other different things. I think some, some of the prizes are just a boat. And then some of the prizes are like gift cards to Academy Sports or whatever it may be um, that, uh, that, that they have set up. It would be great to win a boat. Um, 
a new truck. I'll kind of change uh, <laughs> my life there a little bit. Um, I'd be selling my other car and I'd be using the truck uh, or vice versa, maybe I'd sell the truck. I don't know yet. Um, I'm not gonna make any plans until I know that I win, uh, but that would be great. Now they only released, I think 60, um, actually 120, so there's two different colors, 120 total, 60 of each color. And I mean, there's probably millions of redfish out there, so uh, likelihood is very small. But every year, at least one or two people catch and get to win the prize, so that's, that's great. So hopefully we do. Keep our fingers crossed here. I've uh, been praying a lot that I do, and that would be great. Uh, but if not, hey, I'm still having fun getting down there. So I do plan on going quite often during the summer here, um, probably in the next two weeks, maybe three weeks. Uh, every two or three weeks, I'm going to head down there as much as I can, try to see if I can get one until someone gets the top three prizes or the tournament ends, which is September the tournament ends, I believe. And um, so... I'll be down there quite often. You'll see more videos, and hopefully uh, the next couple times will be better. And I'll remember to bring my batteries in the first day. <laughs> it's been a while since I fished. I was a little rusty on what I needed to bring. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. By the way, I was fishing with Risen Fly Rods. I love them. I am sponsored by them, but that's not why I fish with them. Uh, before I even contacted them about sponsorship, I had some of their rods, and I really liked them for the price. Um, best prices for quality rods, especially since they've got lifetime warranty. I love the rods, so definitely go check them out. Go to www.risenfly.com. And the best part is, when I was talking with them about sponsorship, I said, listen, I, I don't really wanna do any kind of sponsorship unless I can get a discount for my subscribers. And absolutely, they were like, yeah, we can do that for sure, which I thought was great. Some companies say no, some say yes, but you guys get a discount. So type in McFly at checkout for 15% off of anything in their shop. I mean, you guys will love the rods. I mean, for $100, their Genesis is amazing for, uh, I, I, it even works for saltwater. I fished uh, I fished their eight weight uh, Genesis for a while in the saltwater until they came out with their saltwater uh, rod, which that's what I was fishing on this trip was their saltwater one, but their Genesis, 100 bucks. I mean, and it's an amazing rod, lifetime warranty. If you break it, small little fee, even if it's your fault, small little fee, you return it to them, I don't know. don't quote me on the price. I think it's right around 35 bucks and then you get a brand new one if you break it or they try to fix it, which is, I mean, that's great. Um, so basically, spend 100 bucks, um, you get a pretty much a lifetime rod. Um, so again, lifetime warranty. Uh, same with their reels, all the rods, all the reels, everything. Um, they've got some lower end rods um, and I call it lower end, they're still great. That Genesis is amazing. Um, and then they've got some higher end ones, like the saltwater one I was fishing today is about three something, I think 350 roughly is what their cost is, or what, it, what their price is, and um, it's amazing. I mean, it's as good or better than some six, seven, eight hundred dollar uh, saltwater fly rods I've used in the past, so definitely check them out. Again, www.risenfly.com. Type in McFly at checkout. You'll not only help my channel um, by keeping them wanting to work with me, uh, but you also get a discount um, and a great rod. So definitely check them out. They sell not only rods and reels, but um, hooks and uh, fly tying gear and stuff like that. Uh, so check them out. I will see you guys in the next video. Now you go catch some fish.